Yeah, my name's Wayne, I'm 48 and I'm from Liverpool. Well, my, my depression itself actually started around the age of 12 or 13, but I kept it hidden. I didn't really speak to anyone about it. I suppose I didn't see it as any sort of mental illness, really. I was afraid of what people would think and I was afraid that relationships would change and I didn't want my parents worrying about me all the time. The first time I, I attempted to take my life, I would have been around age 17. Um, I was just feeling really low and I just thought, I don't want to live anymore. So I took 50 anodin and for a day I was doing nothing but being sick and every time I ate or I drank something, it would just come straight back up. Um, one of the things that surprises the psychiatrist and the psychologist that I've dealt with as they would say to me so what happened when you sought medical attention and when I tell them I didn't it surprises them but my reaction is well if I wanted to die why would I seek help it wasn't a cry for help I generally wanted to not be on this planet anymore so why would I go and seek medical attention I've attempted to take my life four times um, age 17, I took the 50 anodin. Age 23, I thought, well, if 50 doesn't do it, maybe 100 will. The next attempt was when I was around age 25. I tried to hang myself. But I used a belt that comes free when you buy a pair of jeans, and I thought they were leather, but they were actually only layered cardboard. Then the fourth time, I was living in Amsterdam and I tried slashing my wrists. And it was then that I finally thought, I need help here. I've got a problem. Now, at that age, I was 34 years old, so I'd had the depression for 21 years, and it literally took that long before I realized, this isn't normal. I need help. I still kept it hidden from all my friends. Nobody knew. It was only when I moved back to Liverpool that a few years later I was having another depressive episode and I thought, I need help again. I didn't want to try another suicide attempt. I thought, I've got to get help. And luckily I ended up in um, Broad Oak. And then through that, my parents finally got to find out. And when I did finally seek help, I now look back and think, why didn't I seek help? as soon as the depression started. Why did I keep it to myself? Because since I've engaged with services, since I've been taking medication, my life's a whole lot better. It's so much better my life now. And I just wish I'd have had the whereabouts and the courage to have let people know sooner. I would describe my recovery now by saying I am back in full-time work. I have a good social life. I've got plenty of friends and family who I see regularly. Um, I go out with my fellow peers. They're the ones who I've done the recovery college courses with. So now at the moment, I'd say my recovery is good. I know in the future there may be blips, but I know now that when these blips come, I will be able to ask for help rather than attempting another suicide. If I'd have been given more information, even, even if it was via a poster on a bus or a, a poster in the doctors, if I saw something that said, simply said something like, do you ever feel depressed? Do you have suicidal thoughts? Do you need to seek help? That would have got me thinking, hang on, that's me. Maybe I do need to seek help. Now, I feel absolutely fantastic. I've been through the Mersey Care Recovery College. I've done courses on anxiety management, self-esteem, confidence building. I'm back into full-time work, albeit two part-time jobs. I'm a part-time peer support worker at Clockview Psychiatric Hospital. And for those who don't know, a peer support worker is somebody with mental health issues supporting other people with mental health issues. So I've only got praise for the Recovery College because I think without them, there may have been another suicide attempt because after I got released from Broad Oak, I was struggling to get back into work. So now life's great. I have a good social life. I have a good work life. 
I've got plenty of friends, I've got a loving family, and I've got hope for my future, which for me is one of the most important things. To anyone out there who is feeling suicidal, I promise you, you are not alone. I understand exactly how you're feeling. I understand the type of thoughts that are running through your head. But I promise you, there are people out there who are willing to help you. And I promise you, if you let them help you, you can get over this. You can stop the suicidal thoughts.